Um, Andy, perhaps not a sad day because your career's had so many highs, but an emotional one nonetheless. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the end of an exciting chapter. Um, you know, 17th season at, at my home club. I, Mixed emotions, I'm sort of sad to that it's ending, but at the same time, I've, I've been fortunate to play that long for my hometown club, so I can't, I can't really grumble. Um, it's only appropriate that we speak to you here in the change room at King's Omen, a place where you've had many a happy memory. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's, that's probably some of the things you, you, you miss, you know. You probably won't remember the training so much on, on a wet Tuesday, but you miss the changing rooms and the camaraderie with your teammates and things like that. Kind of been an easy decision, but why have you decided to call it a day? Um, it sort of started really back from August. Um, I got concussed, come back, got concussed again, tried to get it right in training, it still, it still wasn't right. Um, went to see a lot of doctors and tried everything under the sun really to sort of get myself to feel right and where I am in my career, it's just, it was not really, it was not really the, the right thing to do to try and risk it for, you know, for maybe what would be an extra year or a few months left of the season. This is your 17th season at the club and no other player has uh, played that many years for the same club in the professional premiership era and uh, it's a feat that it will never really be matched. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's a nice stat. Um, like I said, a privilege to, to play from, so you know, it's, it's my home club, so that adds to that really. Um, I should imagine, I should imagine Sinbad might be hunting me down for that, but I'll, uh, I'll see how he goes on that. Does it make it extra special that it has been for your hometown club? No, oh, one hundred percent. There's, there's no, no question within my mind whatsoever that, that that's, that's made a difference. Um, for me, it's, it's been my staying here, my family. Um, obviously, you know, watching a club coming up and then to play for it is is amazing. You know, having your family around, whether it's your cousins, your uncles, your wife, your family, they just keep you grounded all the way, all the way through, which is which has been brilliant. Pretty much impossible question, but have there been any standout memories that you could probably put as the best one? Um, well, a lot of the time when we got to Twickenham, I know we didn't have a lot of joy there a few times, but you know, Powage and Cup was good. Um, I suppose one, one sticks out of my mind is when Richard Hill called me into the office to give me my first contract. So I suppose that, that sort of sticks in, in, in your mind as well, really. Um, if you could inv offer a, a bit of advice to a young Andy Hazel before you sign that first professional contract, what would it be? I'd probably say just don't look too far ahead, you know, play every week, every week is, is, is always just going to be your last, really train hard every week and hopefully you know that, that, that'll keep you going, you really don't get ahead of yourself and just be honest, be honest as, a, as a player and a person. In terms of the future, you, you appear to have, have it already mapped out, Smart Home Solutions are, have been up and running for a few seasons now and, and going pretty well. Yeah, it's, just, it's something I'm glad of, you know, you, rugby unfortunately it's not like football week from retiring go and play golf every day, so yeah, I've had something in the background and I'm lucky that's, that's, that's building really well. Um, so hopefully that'll keep me busy and keep me occupied, you know, one of the things when you retire, is, you know, you finish and then what do I do? So yeah, that's going to keep me busy, so fingers crossed I can, I can work hard on that and make it successful. Obviously throughout sport, sportsmen thank their support, but at Gloucester it's probably up to the next level because the sport, support from Gloucester fans is always constant. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Gloucester support sat here today? Um, just thank you, really. I'd, to be honest, you know, I'm, I know what the fans are like. You know, I've seen, I've seen the good side, and I've seen some players got on the bad side of them. But I think, you know, I'd say that to any of the young players coming, as long as you give 100% really for, for the shirt, then you know that they have no questions, for, no questions whatsoever that you know they'll be on your side, really. So I think a lot of the players know that here, that are here now. You know, and that's that's one thing that I definitely, definitely thank everyone for. Really. And from here on in, we're assuming you'll be a regular here on match days. Is it going to be in the shed or in a corporate box? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about that far. But, um, yeah, I mean, this season, obviously, I'm going to be here to the end. And, you know, I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can go on and win the Amelie now. It's a massive thing that would, that would be nice to sort of finish off. I know I'm not going to play in it, but I'm still involved in the squad this year. So I might do a John Terry and sneak on somewhere if we get anywhere. But, um, no, that would be nice. And, yeah, next year, I, I, you know, I think it would be impossible for me to keep away, really. So come and check up, see the boys going and uh, send the odd text just to keep them on their toes. Andy, congratulations on a great career. Cheers, mate.